Hello everyone, I am Alexandra Jane and in today's video I will be reviewing Sarah Tisha's yoga videos and specifically whether I would say that they are a great morning routine or maybe even the perfect or the best morning yoga videos to follow. So during this video, you're going to see me taking some of the classes and giving a short review. And then at the end, I'll give a longer review. And if you would like to skip directly to the longer review, you can just click here, not click. That's the timestamp. You have to go to that. <laughs> so you can go here if you want a full review. Good morning, it is morning one and today I'm following her video titled 60 minute morning yoga pranayama grounding Gratitude Meditation Asana. Let's get to it. I just finished her video and I really liked it. Um, it's definitely a bit, I thought it was going to be like a super slow flow, all that at the end, but in reality we did Bird of Paradise, we did Dancer's Pose, so it's pretty active and I guess it would be good for all levels. And she gives different variations so that you can make sure you don't push yourself too much. But I'll give a full review at the end of the video. And yeah, really good so far. <laughs> It's day two, morning two of the perfect morning routine video, and today we are following, I'm following, Sarah Tisha's 60 minute morning practice, grounding, and intention setting, I'm guessing. And I'm watching it on my iPad, which actually is better because when you have the full screen, it makes more sense on the iPad than the computer, but it's fine on the computer too. and I absolutely loved it. I think that she really guides the breathing exercise and the meditation well. I like the asana. Um, you really do a lot in a short amount of time. I think if I was just a beginner though, it would be too intense, but you can always try anything. So yeah, I really liked it and I'm excited to give the full review and be able to hopefully share this morning practice with some of you so that you guys will be able to start as well. So question number one, why did I decide to take her classes? So I decided to take her classes because I was originally doing my morning routine with the craft.love. Every day they were putting out journal exercise, uh, breathing exercise, meditation, and movement. I wasn't following the movement though because it was very beginner and it wasn't what I was looking for, but really getting in the habit of journaling, breathing, and meditating in the morning was amazing. And then they decided that they were no longer going to be doing their morning uh, rituals, so I was looking for something new. And Sarah's video seemed like a great new thing to do because there was the breathing exercise, meditation, and movement. No journaling, but I can do that on my own if I really want to. Question number two, how do you access her videos and is it user friendly? So when I was taking her videos, she was filming on IG Live and then posting on YouTube. So on YouTube, it was a vertical video and she still has about 10 of these videos up. So you can still follow them. However, now she understandably wants to make sure that she's getting paid for her videos. So now to sign up for her classes, you have to go to Eversport and you can pay $9, which is what she recommends, unless you can't, and then she still offers scholarship at zero, so it is still possible for everyone to take these classes. However, she lives in Prague, 
and she's filming these at 7.30 or at 9 a.m. in Europe and that does not work with US time and in her Instagram story she said that they would be available for 24 hours after however I have not been able to figure out how to access them after and I sent her a message but I haven't received a reply so I'm not really sure if I can even keep taking these videos or how to tell you to take them if you're in Europe then super easy you just sign up and it's at a time that will hopefully work for you. If it's not at a time that works for you, then I'm not sure how to access them. And if I figure that out later, I will let you know. Hello everyone, I am back to explain to you how her new system works. So Sarah Tisha is still teaching yoga classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday morning. Friday morning, uh, her time, Prague time. It's basically nighttime in the US. So her classes are on Eversports and you can sign up directly there. She has an intro offer, which is zero dollars. A single class is nine, sorry, it's euros. So a single class is nine euros, a 10 class pass is 90 euros, one week, 20 euros, and one month, 50 euros. She also is giving out 30 uh, scholarships. So for 30 people, they get uh, one month free. And I think that's really great and it makes sense. I mean, with these times, there's a lot of people that can't afford it, and there is the free trial, so if you want to try it, it doesn't cost you anything, and then you should be, if you can, giving back to yoga teachers, so it makes sense to make this paying as well, and I've really been liking continuing on with her classes. It's about a week after I filmed the first part of this video, and now her classes are on YouTube, so she sends out the link a little bit before, and since it's made for YouTube, it's a horizontal video, which is much more enjoyable to watch than a vertical video. Question number three, would I recommend her videos? And if so, to who? Yes, I would absolutely recommend her videos. She's very knowledgeable and she presents it in a way that's not scary because she just seems to be a really kind person that isn't preaching. She's not trying to to force anything onto you. She's really just sharing her own experiences and in a way that's approachable. So I really appreciate that. I think she has a lot of knowledge with the breathing exercise. It's clearly something in her own practice and it really shows. So I liked the breathing exercise and the meditation and that's for all levels. For the yoga portion, I would say that it wasn't beginner exactly. Of course, a beginner can challenge themselves, but we were moving into a lot of poses quickly. For example, we only had half an hour, but we were doing dancer's pose and other sorts of kind of advanced poses. So if you aren't familiar with your body, you have to be careful not to push yourself too much. But for me and for a lot of people, I think that it was really nice to be able to get so much done in an hour. Question number four, would I do her videos again? I would absolutely follow her videos again and I really hope she'll get back to me and I'll figure out how to access her videos uh, within 24 hours after they are live. And if that's not possible, there are still 10 morning rituals that she has up that I can follow. So if you guys have any questions, then you can let me know. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and you can of course subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.